I'm stopping in Easton, Pennsylvania this week for a show. While I'm here, I'm also going to meet four terrific people who stand out in their community. Like a woman who has spent most of her life rescuing abused and neglected animals. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Two brothers who volunteer their time and put their lives at risk to save others. This old shriveled up ring looks like it came off the Titanic or something. And a teacher who turned a kid's love of bikes into an opportunity. Simon says your brakes have gone out and you have to stop really bad. What are you going to do then? These are just some of our great American heroes. I take my hat off to you. As a country singer, I love to play music and I love performing live. Being on tour means I get to meet a lot of good folks in all kinds of places. From the big cities to the small towns, one thing I've learned along the way is that you never do know where you're going to find those special people. Thank you, sir. The ones that do whatever it takes to make a difference in their part of the world. He's an idol for me. The ordinary people who do extraordinary things. Thank you. These are my heroes. Appreciate it. And I can't wait to meet them all. So we're going to meet Stefan Goslowski. Stefan is the head of an organization called Community Bike Works. They work with at-risk youth. My name is Stefan Goslowski. I am the executive director at Community Bike Works in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Community Bike Works is a program that works with inner city children during the summer and after school, trying to keep them out of gangs and off the street and away from drugs. We use bicycles as the hook to get the kids in here. They teach kids to work on bikes. They also teach these kids that dedication and hard work has rewards. All right, look at all the bikes. Yo, Trace. Hello. Are you Stefan? I am Stefan. Nice to meet you, nice sir. Nice to meet you. I'm so all happy right. you can be with us. Oh, yeah. Let me bring you over here and show you some of the stuff we're doing. OK. We were programmed for kids after school and in the summer. Yeah. And we're teaching them about bicycles. But we're not about bicycles. We're about kids. What we try to do is teach the kids about work ethic. We try to get them off the streets, try to get them out of gangs try to show them that if you work, you get a reward. You make them keep this place clean, don't we you? We do. <laughs> yes, we do. And their tools are all organized and everything. So yeah, you're teaching them a lot more lessons than just about how to work on a bike. We do. It's a 12-week program where kids sign a contract where they have certain stipulations of what they must do. And we also sign a contract saying what we're going to do for them. And the kids who do follow through and complete the program are rewarded with their own bicycle. You do this every day? Yes, that's the class agenda. I'm going to show you somebody that graduated back in 1997. 1997, why, wow, he's old. He is old. Gosh, that makes me feel he's old. He's old. Jay, <laughs> come on over. Who is this? This is Jay. How are you doing, sir? Jay, how are you? I wanted to come to Community Bike Force in 97 because my family was looking for something for my stepbrother and I to do to keep us out of trouble. But my problem was never not being smart enough. It was always follow through. You start. you came in here when you were how old? About 12. Yeah, graduated. Uh, got my bike. Got your bike. Moved on, lined up uh, graduating high school, joining the military. Was that a good experience for you? Not only did it allow me to serve my country a bit, it also is now paying for me to go to school for public relations. That's a testament to to what, how this program affects people's lives, yep. man. Well, one of the bigger things that Stefan always taught me was if you want anything, you gotta work for it. You gotta be willing to get down there in the muck and the mire and get your hands dirty. And this program's meant, meant so much to you that you've decided to come back and yep. volunteer some of your time. That's cool, man. This is one of your success stories. I bet it you got a bunch of them. We do have a bunch of them. Just the fact that he's offering these kids a safe place to go, to be off the streets, and to be somewhere where they can be impacted and affected in a positive way by somebody. You know, Stefan's doing something here that's going to pay dividends for all of us. When we get a bike in, we don't have a lot of storage space, so we have to make the bike smaller. We also have to record the bike so we have an inventory on it. And this is Andrew, one of our program Hi, aides. Andrew, how are you? Andrew's going to tell you what we do briefly and get you to do some work. OK, all right. We'll what are we doing, work. Andrew? All right. Well, this is Keyshawn first. Keyshawn, how are you? Trace. Nice to Hello. see you. 
All right, so when these donated bikes come in, you, you've got a form. They write down the make, the model, the size of the bike, serial number, and all that kind of stuff, and they, they log all these bikes in as they come in. I think we need to get his hands greasy. All right, so oh, we'll get okay. his hands greasy. We need you to take the pedals off of the bike. How long have you been doing this, Keyshawn? For a long time. Have Since you? Since December. Since December. Can you walk here after school? I prefer to ride I prefer to ride your bike. So we teach him. Good man. See how the bike handlebars are? Yeah. You want to turn them. Also you want to turn them right. straight with the bike. I'm right going to go right there. here. So give it a good loosen. There you go. All right. So that way we can store a whole lot more bikes. You bet. All right. All right. So that is a fully processed bike. And this is one of the bikes that one of the kids will have an opportunity to earn. That's correct. Mm -hmm. If you already earned your bike. Yep. Good for you, man. They're not teaching these kids that, that they are entitled to anything. They're teaching these kids that they have to work and they have to earn what they get in this life. Oh, okay. okay. One, two, three. There it yeah. is. Now I feel cool. <laughs> I, felt, I felt really uncool before, now I feel nah. cool. What do you call this thing we're having here? It's a rodeo. No, it's not. All right, Stephen, I got, I got a surprise for you. Ladies and gentlemen, these folks are great American heroes. In Allentown, Pennsylvania, teacher Stefan Goslowski brought together his love for bicycling with his desire to help at-risk kids find a better future. His 12-week program, Community Bike Works, teaches kids the benefit of hard work and commitment. And what do you call this thing we're having here? It's a rodeo. The no, it's not. <laughs> uh, we forgot the horses. All right, all right. So this is some kind of bike. You call it some, what do you call bike it? Bike rodeo. Bike rodeo. Even though we're about kids and not bikes, they're earning a bike, so they need to know how to ride safely. I'm going to introduce you to some of the staff okay. and have them tell you what they're doing and why. So what we're doing is we're doing a bike rodeo. This right now is called the zigzag or the slalom so that they can learn how to navigate their bike properly and they can turn and twist without falling over. Stefan makes sure that before these kids hit the road, they know how to be safe. Simon says left turn signal. Simon says right turn signal. All right, I want you to meet a couple of people while they're okay, doing this. Okay. All right, this is, relax. This is Mimi. Hi, how are you? Mimi are you started Mimi? when she was nine years old. And this is Tammy, who started in 2007. All right, Hello. nice to see you. So what were you doing right here? We're doing Simon Says. We're with, teaching with them turn the turn signals. signals. Yeah. Um, what the turn signals Bike are. Bike safety stuff. Bike, yeah. exactly. So left turn signal, you just put your left hand out straight. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, OK. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then right turn signal. Mm -hmm. And then stop or slow down. Stop. Uh, left hand. You left usually hand. the wrong? Or you just use left the left hand? hand. Yep. Because the left hand is actually out towards traffic. Oh, yeah. Okay. That so, makes sense. do you want to lead Simon Says in this country? Kids? You want me to do Simon Says? Yeah, yeah, you can. You can do whatever you want. Oh, okay, Simon Says. Then. Before we start, everybody take one step forward. Oh, you're out. <laughs> <laughs> you see how y'all see how you do this? I got you. That's how you win at this game. Okay. <laughs> Simon Says left hand signal. Okay, right hand signal. <laughs> yeah, almost <laughs> got it. Huh? Okay, Simon Says your brakes have gone out and you have to stop really bad. What are you going to do then? <laughs> huh? What signal it's is that? It's this. <laughs> Put your feet on the ground. <laughs> OK, Simon says stop. How long can I make them stand there with their arms like that? How long you want. Oh, uh, yeah? This is kind of fun. I'm glad my wife don't do this with me. <laughs> Simon says relax. I can't even imagine how many children's lives he's impacted. He's, uh, he's building himself up treasure, I guess, in heaven. We use the manual downstairs with the kids in earn a bike, so they have to read. They have like a checklist if they're doing a particular adjustment. They have steps they have to take. One of the things we found out early on is that they couldn't read. Once Stefan realized that a lot of these kids couldn't read their bike manuals, he included tutoring as part of his program. Have you read this book yet? You're just starting reading it now? I, wanted, I don't have time. I wanted to know what happened. Oh, that's a happy ending. <laughs> I like this. I like this it too. Great. Bike Works also offers something else kids need, a snack. That's really important when you think about it. And some of these kids, they may not get very much nourishment and you know, a snack here can, is, means a lot. All right, Stephen, I got, I got a surprise for you. I want everybody to come out with us and see, okay? 
We just had a few uh, oh, cool. things that we gathered up that we thought you could use. Tires is probably something you go through a lot of tires. A lot of tires. The kids like to do skidding all the time. Yep. Yeah. Did you hear the reaction? What? Yeah. <laughs> it was a real big surprise. I think they've got something else for you, too. I think we have a problem with the Snyder's <laughs> truck coming by. No, we don't. Everything Sponsor. in that truck is yours. What? I got something Holy else for you. Crap. <laughs> Whoa! Just a little something else. We got all these boxes of snacks and stuff in here for you, and and the, and the stuff that you're doing here at Bike Works, man. Uh, you're what I call a great American hero. Thank you. Okay. I don't know if you can actually cash this check. I think it comes in a smaller size. The check for five grand. Holy cow! That'll come in real handy. Uh, another thing too. I'm. I'm doing a show here in town. I was hoping that somehow or other we could wrangle some tickets. Stefan's just a sweet guy, you know. These people are angels. They're just very, very, very kind, warm-spirited people. We're getting ready to see Trace and his show. I'm just so excited. I feel so special. I've never been to one of his concerts, and we're looking forward to seeing Trace perform. Hi Hello, guys. I'm Lori. I'm Ste Lori from Last, Chance, Last Rescue. Chance Rescue. It was nice to meet the other heroes. Um, it's always interesting to hear other people's stories and what they do. We're going to teach a horse to ride a bike. <laughs> well, maybe we can bring our kids there to ride horses. I would love to bring the kids there. Well, if they all get together and like visit everybody and just see. That would be a cool yeah. idea. Like we the should. kids could take field trips to. Right. Yeah. Why don't we go inside? Let's see the show. people all over this country and I get to meet them everywhere we go. I get to meet somebody who is doing something that is just selfless in conjunction with this tour. We're finding people that we think are heroes. So we've got some friends of ours here tonight, some folks that we wanted to recognize. Uh, we have Mike and Tom Rao. Mike and Tom are here tonight from Pennsylvania Water Rescue Station 72. These guys save people's lives. We also have Stefan Goslowski. Stefan has this organization called Community Bike Works, and he's in the inner city, and he's working with, with at-risk youth, teaching them how to work on bicycles. And then last but not least, certainly not least, Lori McCutcheon, who runs this ranch called Last Chance Ranch, taking neglected, mistreated animals and giving them a second chance, you know what I mean? And, uh, Glory, Mike, Tom, Stefan, come on. Come up here on stage. I want you to see these people. Ladies and gentlemen, these folks are great American heroes. I take my hat off to you. Going up there like that, it was a good feeling. I mean, I, everyone appreciates what we do. It's something that we're not going to forget for ever. Very surprised to have him bring me up on stage. Oh my gosh, I didn't expect that. To have someone famous think that you're doing something great is really humbling. I've been thinking about Can I keep you? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I like this. I like this it too. This is just something else that we wanted to be able to do for you. I'm lost for words right now, so. <laughs> well, you're going to have to desensitize that chicken a little more. You're what I call a great American hero. For more information about the heroes featured in this episode, visit GACTV.com slash heroes. No, there's nothing 